The physical limit of agility is determined by your ability to generate force quickly, also known as power. Here's why. When your legs push force into the ground, the ground pushes back with an equal and opposite force. If you could generate more force in less time, you would be able to accelerate faster. Factors like balance, coordination, and running technique also impact agility. However, the limiting factor is your ability to generate force quickly. Think of it this way. Your ability to generate force quickly determines the speed that you are physically capable of reaching. Factors like balance, coordination, and running technique influence how close you will get to your physical limit. Now that you know this, the obvious next questions are how do we train agility and how much can the average genetic athlete improve this? The best way to train agility is through combination of strength training and speed training. Strength training increases force production and speed training improves your ability to generate that force quickly. In terms of how much can the average genetic athlete improve agility, I don't know yet, but I will be documenting my strength and speed training over time to give you a better idea. Subscribe and stay tuned.